Hi, this is Red McNed, and I want to talk to you briefly about the future of this channel and also to share a little assignment I have for you all. First, I want to say that I'm really proud of what's been accomplished so far with the Red McNed channel and the saga of Red McNed. It started off as a, a little project and it grew in momentum and steam. And now, even five years after I've done making videos, it's climbed up to a thousand subscribers. I see that as a vote that people are interested in what's going on here and would like to see more, so really, thank you for that. I want to touch base briefly on why I stopped, and the main reason was burnout. It was a big project to undertake doing this Minecraft series, and I really wanted to stick with weeklies, and I wanted to put as much as I could into everything. So that meant 20 plus hours a week working on Minecraft stuff, and I really just would even put all of my time into it and mostly because I wanted to create something great. I wanted to see how big I could make things, and it was genuinely exciting. But I did burn out. I burned myself out. I burned out my computer. And really, it took until recently to want to give this a whole new shot. So that's why I'm here. I actually am ready to give this a whole new shot. And I'm glad so many people are following and interested in me coming back. Also, what's nice is that I won't have to entirely restart like I thought I would. One of the reasons why I didn't come back very fast is I thought I lost the entire world that I had worked on. Um, I thought I only made two copies of it, and they both corrupted, but it turns out I found a third copy on one of my uh, hard drives, so we have the world. <laughs> and actually, it was a lot of fun booting it up, and it made me think that... I think that I could actually share this world and share a little assignment with you all. I want you to follow the instructions I have. I'll put them at the end of the video on how to download this world and install it into your Minecraft game. And I want you to explore what the saga has made. Everything that's been made in the saga so far. I want you to take some time. I put some things in like books, signs, and notes. Try to make sure no one gets lost. But I want to have everyone caught up on what's been made in the series so far. And the reason why is I want to see what you guys think that I should do next or what we should do next. What parts of the map could use more expansion? What areas could use a little bit more work? Or what else do you think that can be done that hasn't been done yet in Minecraft and see where it can be done in the series and the world that we're making. And also I want to make it more of a community input thing. I want to see what you guys really think. So you're free to do what you want with this world. Share it with a friend, look at it, make a video about it, whatever you want. Ultimately this was supposed to be a world that I wanted to share and wanted to be made really explorable and fun to explore. And the more that goes into it, the more fun obviously it would be to explore. The original concept was to make like an adventure map in survival. And so far it actually, I think it's pretty interesting. It takes about, it took me about an hour to look through the whole thing. So in summary, I want you to explore the map, see what the series has done so far, and vote on what happens next by leaving a comment on this video. I'm gonna place some links in the description to make sure that you have all the resources to do that. And I'll walk you through the process of how to download this map and put it into your stuff. So here's how to download the world if you have a Windows. I'll put a link to how to do it if you have a Mac. I'm gonna put a link to this page, but this is an archive.org page that I've put the saga on. All you have to do is, well, you can view all the files here by clicking this, right click here and save as, and pick a spot I've already saved it so you would save it and uncompress it when you have it and it might already uncompress actually mine already uncompressed it though once that's done once you have it you're gonna pull down the Windows key and click R I already have it typed in right here and I'll have this copy and pasteable in the description as well but it's percent all capital letters, app data, percent, slash, dot, Minecraft. 
And this is actually where you can find all of your saves. They're all located in the saves folder. And any world you've ever made in Minecraft is in here. And also, if you ever do want to share a world, I put another link in the description of this video about how to do that, how to take a world out of here and turn it into a compressed file that you can well, put on a website like the one I did or any other file sharing website. So as you can see, I put it right here. So when I load up my game, it'll show up as this name. And there you have it. It should be this part right here. And if you click play, there you have it. And uh, by the way, it won't start right here. It'll start at the base, but there's signs literally everywhere, as you can see, and uh, chests that say, well, here, uh, please read book and take items. So anytime you see that, go ahead and uh, happy exploring. Thanks again. This has been Red McNed. Stay passionate and I'll see you in the next video.